equations with rational fractional indices. You will find this on page 189 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Equations with rational indices. Rational indices are indices that are fractions. For example, x to the power of a half. So that power will be a fraction. Is another way of writing root x. We can solve equations in which a variable is raised to an index that is a fraction by raising each side of the equation to the reciprocal of the index. The reason we raise the equation to the reciprocal of the index is because we want to eliminate the index of the variable term and a number multiply its reciprocal equals 1. For example, as soon as we multiply by the reciprocal, 3 over 4, reciprocal 4 over 3, then we will get 1 and so on. Let's look at a few examples. x to the power 2 over 3 is equal 60. So if I multiply with the reciprocal, 3 over 2, make that prime factors of um, 2, to, um, 16, it's 2 to the power 4, and then I will just get this answer. The same here. If I multiply with the reciprocal, now in this case, it is, I just want to make it a bit bigger that you can see it better. Okay. Oh, that's a bit too big. Okay, can I just show you? If this was, if there's a negative, you must also make that a negative because a negative times a negative is a positive and you want it positive. So in that case, it was not necessary, but in this case. So whatever you do on this side, you do on this side. It's 2 to the power negative 3, and if you bring it down, it's positive, and then it's 1 over 8. In this case, you must first get rid of that 4 by dividing both sides by 4. Okay. And now you can go simplify prime factors, and then you can raise it to the reciprocal. So 3 over 2, 3 over 2, multiply it in, and that's your final answer. Okay, um, let's go on. So I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A as well as number C. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number A. So it's 16 x 4 over 5 equals 81. Okay, so first let's just write it's 16 and 81. So this will be 2, it's 8, 2, it's 4, 2, it's 2, 2 is 1. So this will be 2 to the power of 4. 81, this is going to be 3, because 3 can go divide out into that. And then I will get 27. 3 will be 9. 3 will be 3. 3 will be 1. So it's 3 to the power of 4. So if I'm going to look at this one, I'm going to start there by saying, okay, um, I think what we can do in this case, I'll do it now, we're first going to divide by 16. Divide by 16. Okay. Then it's x, 4 over 5, and now I'm going to just, just write that one. So it was 3 to the power 4, 2 to the power 4. Okay. And now I'm going to multiply by 5 over 4. And this one also by 5 over 4. What I do on one side, I do on the other side. So then it will be x is equal to 3. Uh, if I multiply this, the 4s will cancel because it's over 1, and it will be to the power of 5. And then this one, the same, the 4s will cancel, and it's 5. And the answer is going to be 3 to the power of 5 is going to be 2, 4, 3. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Okay. Or if I simplify it, 7 and 19 over 32. Both is correct. That's the value of x. Okay. Okay, I'm going to clean and then we can do number C. So 
So it's 1 over 5 x 3 quarters and that's 25. I divide 1 over 5 and I divide 1 over 5. So x is 3 quarters and that's going to be 25 over 1 multiply 5 over 1. So x 3 quarters and then I'm going to 25 times that 5 is going to give me 125. So I can say, okay, I'm just going to x and 3 quarters, I will now, and that's 5 to the power 3. And then I'm going to multiply with the reciprocal 4 over 3. What I do on one side, I do on the other side. So then I'm going to get x, okay, that cancels, just 1. And then it's going to be 5, put it over 1, the 3's cancel 4, and then, then the value there, 4, the value of x will be equal to 6 to 5. And that's the final answer. Okay, let's look at another example. Find the values of x. Okay, can you see this looks like a trinomial because that double will be this one. Okay. So factorize the trinomial, you can first use a k, and then you can substitute the value of k again, and then, then you come to your fractional um, indices. Okay, it's not necessary, but it makes it easier with the factorization. Again, I just want to give you one, so um, just do one number a. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, number 1a. So it's 4, now I think I will rather want to use another color. So it's 4 x to the power 2 over 3 plus 5 x to the power 3rd minus 6. Now usually if you see this, if you see if I double this one, I get this one and I don't get an x, then it's a trinomial. Now I still think it's easier if we're going to say that k is just going to be x to the power a third. Okay, because then I will get 4, and then I'm going to get k squared plus 5k minus 6 equals 0. And now I'm just going to, um, this is factorizing, now it's in group B, so it's just see 3 and 2 and 4 and 1, because it must give me 5. So it's, yeah, I think it's going to work because this is 8 minus 3 is 5. And the biggest over cross will get, which will be this one, will get a plus and this one will get a minus, okay? And then, then I'm just going to substitute that in. So I'm going to say 4, I, I first going to leave it k. Um, um, let's just go it to white. Keep it white. So it's going to be 4k minus 3 and k plus 2. Okay, and then it's going to be 4k is equal to 3 and, okay, put, because you put this equals 0 and this equals 0, so k is equal to negative 2. Okay, it's going to close here. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now I'm going to substitute k again back. So the value of k is, so it's going to be 4 x to the power of third. Oh, sorry, let's just do me. x to the power of third is equal 3 and x to the power of third equals negative 2. I divide 4, I divide 4. So I'm going to get here x to the power of third equals 3 over 4. So I multiply 3 over 1, multiply 3 over 1. So my final answer is going to be um, 
so if I look at this, um, let me just see. So this is going to be x. 3 to the power, 3 to 3 is going to be 27. And 4 to the power 3 is going to be 64. And if I do this one, exactly the same, I multiply. Okay, let's just see. So I'm just going to multiply this one with 3 over 1 and this one with 3 over 1. And then my final answer is going to be x is equal to negative 2 to the power of 3. So it's negative 2, it's going to be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which will give me negative 8. And there will be my two answers.